on live. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Connie. Fingers crossed we will not be buffering today. Hi, Michelle. I'm going to let everybody get a, a few minutes to hop on. Um, I'm Mark, it says that I'm in a good spot, so we'll see. I'm right below the router, so we should be good. So I hope I won't be buffering. And hi, Vintage Glam. Hi, Janice. Hi, Sandra. Sunny Texas. It's sunny in Indiana today. It's cold, but it's sunny. Hi, Mama J. You may have to log off. My, Mark is manning the, the chat um, because we're going to try to keep up with if you see something that you want, then you can just comment mine in the chat. You're still going to have to send me an email, though, so I have your information. But hi, Angel. Hi, Helen. Hi, Rebecca. I'm 21 people watching. Are you? Tell me when you're logged in. You're probably going to have to log yourself in. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Kelly. You're in Florida. But travel for works. So you're in North Carolina. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Vintage Uprising. Brooklyn David. Oh, Anderson, Indiana. That's my hometown. I don't know if you knew that or not, but that's where my husband and I grew up. We went to Madison Heights High School when it was still Madison Heights in 1993. Hello from Nebraska. How's the weather in Nebraska? Hi from Louisiana. Hi Dawn, my middle name is Dawn. Hi Judy. Mark's still trying to get on. So I have a lot of things polled. Um, some good things, a variety of things. I have some, some toys and some wooden boxes and a really some really cool um, lithograph pieces and some locks just a little bit of this little bit of that and I I do have a couple afghans and quilts too so I might do that I know fat birds fat birds vintage make sure that you subscribe to them I'm not sure if they're watching right now but their channel is great they're a new youtube channel they're really trying to build up their following they're in kentucky um so go over and and make sure that you subscribe to fat bird vintage finds i think that's what it is i'll link it below after the video goes live hi mary hi carolyn warmer today in nebraska than it has been high 40s i think that's about what it is here today I think that's about what it is. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of go over the details. Mark is a little nerv nervous, um, but we're gonna try this and see. Hi, Karen. When I show something, if it's something that you want to purchase, then you can comment me or mine or something to distinguish that you want it. And Mark has a little pen and paper and he's going to keep track, hopefully, of you wanting things and we can go back and look through the chat later if we missed anybody but the thing of it is you will still have to send me an email at poshypate at gmail.com with all of your contact information and at the and a, like a list of all of the final things that you have wanted or want or were wanting to get hi Kristen's curiosities all the way in the UK um you still have to send me an email and let me know the items that you want and I will, you know, get your shipping quote and let you know if all those items are still available. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing I'm going to show may spark a little bit of nostalgia in everybody. I, it does me and it will be something that's really cute that would sit on a shelf with lots of color and it is this vintage Fisher Price, the music box teaching clock. Now I will, it doesn't work. <laughs> it does sometimes like if you push in on it real hard, it will work, but it has just the cool colors on it. And I like the height of it. So you can set it on a shelf and add some color to your, to your displays. It's made in the USA. This one is vintage and it is 
five dollars plus shipping so if it's all wood it's all made out of wood the fisher price toys so if this is something that you want let me know five dollars plus shipping on that another item that might spark some nostalgia i know that it does for me is this little fisher price picnic hi susan she's my neighbor she owns limestone cafe and i've got to get some pizza from her limestone cafe because it looks delicious in the picture okay so the little vintage fisher price picnic basket now it's empty it doesn't have all of the the doodads the little um bear thermos and spoons and the little napkin uh, but it's only three dollars so it's a nice little add-on piece and you you know you can also use it in your display to put you know your little salt and pepper shakers on on a display and so it adds it's something that you can add a little bit of height in things as well so that's three dollars all right next thing is really cool i like this thing and this is you know i say this every video it's like I almost kept this, but I but I'm not because I can't keep everything. But it is this really cool plaid metal lunchbox? It's in excellent condition. There's no rust. It is made from Ohio art. You can see there, and I'll show you the inside. It doesn't have a thermos. There is the inside. The handle's in good condition. The clasp works well. And it is. $12.50 for the Ohio Art Plaid Thermos. All metal in great condition. $12 on that. All right, is everybody seeing me okay? Just making sure I'm not buffering, so let me know if we're a-okay. All right, and, and if you see something behind me that you want me to show, also you know, chime in and let me know. Everything's good. All right. Make sure you guys give it, give me a thumbs up. I know if you're watching on your TV, it's harder to do, but come back later and do that. I appreciate it. All right. Next. Oh, remind them of the rules again. Oh, yes. If you want something, you can send me an email if you want to. Um, the first person to send me an email will get it. Or you can. I know. He's trying to correct me. I know what I'm saying. You can also comment in the chat. So if you want Red Lunchbox, mine. All right, no Snoopy. No, no Snoopy. So let me know. This would be great for the 4th of July or Valentine's Day uh, or back to school displays. So this is Ohio art, really good condition. Okay, the next thing is a 10. And it is a Lipton's tea bag tin. It's gold. It's got tea merchant appointment two. First time lie. Yay! I'm glad that you made it. Here's the inside. I'm not sure the date on this. It has the gold metal quality of Lipton's tea. It's orange pico and pico. So this also, you can set it up this way and use it in display. You can store things in it. It's in great shape. It closes well. The hinge is really good on it. And it is $8 for the Lipton's tea. Okay, Susie wants the tin. Susie's got the tin. And I'm assuming that you're gonna, we'll, you can send me an email and we'll arrange a pickup time. That's what I'm assuming. All right. Yep. Lynn wants the lunchbox. Uh, Lynn wants the lunchbox. All right, I'll move the lunchbox over too. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So the next thing is these are so cute. I like these stinking things. I have one of these at home because a friend gave it to me. But this is a set, and they're the little I'm salt and I'm pepper. Aren't they cute? I don't know. Cats, dogs, bears. I don't know what they are. They're, they're, they're something. But they're made in Japan. They both have their quirks. They're in excellent condition. There's no chips, no gouges out of them. 
and they are five twenty-five. Oh, I did write cat salt and pepper shakers. So they're let's say that they're cats, dogs. Mary says they're dogs. Cats, dogs, whatever. Cat shakers, but they are five twenty-five. So if you want them, let me know. Depression glass. No, I don't have, well, I probably do. I just don't have any out right now. I will look and I'll try to have that, find some for my Friday video. I, I do have some amber glass though that I'm getting ready to show. All right, I'll go ahead and show that now. I have this amber glass divided tray with like the thumb print design in it. Just a three divided tray, no chips, no damage at all. It's not, you know, there's no maker's mark on it. And it is $6 for the amber tray glass divided dish. This would be really, I think this is really pretty in fall, but it's the divided dish. And I also have an amber refrigerator dish. And it's got the lid. It's like, a, I don't... I want to say that it's amber. It's more kind of a yellowish. It There isn't any maker's mark on it, but it's the rib design. There's no flaws in it. It's an excellent shape. Same with the lid. There's no chips or cracks in the lid at all. And this sweet thing, Bonzo Dogs, that's what they're called, uh, is $10. So Mary is right. They're, they're called Bonzo Dogs. They're not cats. The shakers are dogs. Bonzo dogs. I have heard that before. All right. Refrigerator dish is $10. So if you'd like that, either send me an email or claim it in the comments. Okay. 59 people, 60 people watching. Hello. Refrigerator dish for Angel. And again, remember guys, you can claim it in the comments and also send me an email when the video is over. I mean, you can send me an email now, but when it's all over, then if you'll send me an email with the list of things that you wanted. Rosie wants to see quilts. Okay, I'm gonna move you over here with me because I do have some blankets. Anything pink? Not really. <laughs> Not Pinky. Pinky's going to be, it's going to stay with me. Okay, so I do have a quilt. My mother loved the red truck pillow. I'm so glad. I know, candidate, I know. It does make it hard to ship to Canada. It's so expensive, and it doesn't make any sense why it's so expensive, because it's not very far away. Okay, so this quilt is $45 that I'm going to show you. And I will kind of back up. Hi, Fat Bird Finds. Make sure that you subscribe to their channel. They're great. So I'll show you this quilt. I want to say it's probably a twin size. It would fit on a twin size bed. Um, it has a white batting. It's going to be really hard for you to completely see. Hi, NASCAR man. How you doing? I'm showing some toys, but I don't think... They're going to be toys that you're going to be, I have, I am going to show a couple trains, but it does have a, some damage in it. Yeah. I'm going to have my assistant, my assistant here help me show it off the pattern. It does have a little bit of where the quilt patches are coming up there, but it's honestly in really good condition on each end. It has this red or orangish red binding. And I'll show you the stitches so you can tell that it is an old quilt. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Francis. I'm so glad that you got to catch me live. Okay, so it is hand stitch, and this quilt is $45 plus shipping, unless you're local. Like Rosie, if you want this quilt, then we'll set up a time to meet you over here. So the red quilt is $45. And I also have, I'm going to need my assistant again. I also have a pink quilt. This quilt is $55. Hi, guys. 
Arizona. I want to go to Arizona. I've never been. I think I've been to the airport, but... Okay, my dad lived in Arizona his whole childhood. So this one's more of a, probably a full size or maybe a queen size. And it's probably more of a full. It's got the pink and the blues. Now this one is in excellent condition. There aren't any square pieces missing. The back of it, let's flip it around. There is a stain, one stain there. And I'll get a little close up so you can see the bow. Yep, it's the. It's got the little ties, yarn ties in it there, bow ties. This one is $55. Okay, Susie wants the quilt. Got it. Gotcha, Susie. I'll put it with your tin. And Susie doesn't have to pay for shipping. All right, gotcha, Susie, for the quilt. And then I'm, I have more quilts, but I'm going to show two Afghans as well. And I know that Fatbirds Vintage, they just found some um, Afghans. I think kind of like this. Um, yes, they all are hand tacked, all of the quilts. They are really neat. And that one's in excellent condition, except for that one little stain. It's a good cuddle up on your couch and watch a movie quilt, I think. So now I don't know what the design of these crocheted blankets are, but I have this, this uh, twin size, like a throw blanket size. It's black with the red flowers. No holes, no damage. I mean, other than the holes that it's supposed to have. And it is $25 plus shipping. With a glass of wine, of course. These look great on the back of the couch, or on a porch swing. So this one's $25, which is a really good price, but I gotta move this stuff, guys. Oh, Rosie, if it falls through. Okay, if Susie doesn't come and get the quilt, Rosie, it's yours. Granny square, Rebecca. That one was a granny square. So this one is $25, and this one's probably my favorite. Just because of the colors, it's bright. This one's also $25. Yeah. It's the same pattern, only different colors. I love this one. But I like, I don't like the feel of a crocheted blanket. This one is in great shape as well. And they have been washed, they're clean. So these Afghans are $25. I know, I like the colorful one too. But they're, and they're gonna be heavy to ship. That's the only bad thing. I don't think I could get this in a padded flat rate. No, there's no way I, I would tr could try, but I don't think that that would happen. Okay, so there's the Afghans. Then while I'm standing over here, I have two more things. I'm going to show this is a Coca-Cola tin tray, soda fountain tray. This is the real deal. It's not a reproduction. I they make a ton of reproductions of these. This is the real deal. It's I love the jack-o'-lantern there. And there's a football. And then a, I'll just show you each edge. It's just got really fun, neat graphics on it. There's the Easter bunny. And then it's got the smiling girl. This one's in really good shape. There is a couple spots on the tray itself where the paint's coming off. The back of it is in really good condition. There's just a little bit of rust here on the back. And this tray is $16 plus shipping. So if this is something that you want, you can claim it in the comments. That's what we're doing, guys. If you want it, you can claim it in the comments and we're keeping track. And you also have to send me an email. So if you want the Coca-Cola tray, let me know. And then while I'm over here, I pulled this guy too. I think that this is really neat. I know that people really, this is kind of a collector thing. Some people, people really do like these hand-tooled vintage purses. Hi, Cheryl. Any dresser, scarfs, or linens? I am compiling linens to have a linen sale. Um, 
I've got a lot and I'm just, I need to compile them all together, Lynn. So I'm, I am going to work on that. But this is a hand tooled purse. It's got a compartment on the back. It's got this little gold snap here and it is a peel. Well, where does it say it's from? It's made in Mexico. It's Azteca. It's got the inside zipper. The inside zipper sticks. It does work, but it does stick. And this hand-tooled leather purse is $26.50. The strap is adjustable. There is a little bit of wear on the strap itself. Yes, that's the only thing I do accept is PayPal. And what, what will happen is if you see something that you want, um, I will get it packaged up and get you a shipping quote and then I'll send you an invoice via PayPal. Yay, I know the, the um, your hand tool purses are, are really cool. Any trunks? Yes, Rosanna, I have. Oh yeah, we are going to have, we're trying to figure out what day. We are going to have a sale like in the shop. Um, probably towards the end of February, we're gonna get things ready. Um, and open it up and have a sale then. Uh, so some of the like the big furniture pieces and stuff will be available. So Rosie, uh, look out for that because it'll be probably towards the end of February. I know I'm probably... Oh yeah, see, there's two trunks right there. Big one and a little one. All right. Yeah, so if you are like, if you are a viewer and you live not too far away from Bedford, Indiana, then... I will share it on my Instagram page so you guys will know when it is and you can come and buy stuff in person and not have to pay shipping. All right, I'm trying to move the stuff over that I've already sold or I've already shown. All right, these next two pieces are, I like this kind of stuff. I'm gonna move you a little bit closer so I can see the chat. Okay, Cindy's gonna come from Ohio. All right, awesome. These are little handcrafted wooden pieces and I just like this stuff. Uh, this one's a little teapot and it's got flowers decoupaged on there. And these little hooks for your pot holders. Here's the back of it. And it is $5. Hi, Vintage Farmhouse Market. A fellow junker, well, welcome fellow junker. I haven't been junking in a long time because, well, we're trying to figure out a different game plan. All right, so the little teapot is $5. And again, if you want something, you can claim it in the comments and just send me an email when this when we're done and so I can get all your contact information. And then this other little guy, oh, I just love this thing. It's so cute. It's a little wooden duck, a little clothespin head. So you can put your recipe on there while you're cooking. So cute. It's just a little handmade, homemade little vintage piece. And it is $4. So cute. Susie, you need this when you're cooking, don't you? You need this when you're cooking? <laughs> Hi from Pennsylvania. It's cold in Pennsylvania too. I don't know if you guys got all that snow. I'm a little, I get a little upset because we didn't get any snow. Everybody else gets all the snow and we get nothing. All right. I do have a vanity tray. I have a milk glass vanity tray with the gold. Hi, Mama. With the gold trim. You know, it is a little worn as it always is, and usually always is. And it's got the swirly milk glass. There's no damage no no chips on this at all and it is eight dollars plus shipping for the little vanity tray it has little flowers hi from south carolina okay sue you let me know if you want that sandra wants the milk glass tray i think i don't know if sandra had something else mark you can put her down for that nice. sandra gets the milk glass tray all right gotcha sandra Okay, let's see. How about some 
tins. This is a salted cashews tin made by Tops, and it's got the fun cashew graphic. Those aren't, I guess those are cashews. They were vacuum packed to guaranteed fresh, freshness. This is an old tin. There isn't any, you know, scanner, barcode scanner on it at all. There's, it does have the top. These look really good in displays. You can layer them and put things on top of them. And this cute little cashew can is $5.50 on the cashew tin. Mom's saying hi to you, Mark. Hi. <laughs> she said hi to my favorite son-in-law. Okay. Cashew tin is $5.50. All right. This, I love this. And I took the tag off because I had it kind of to where it would make the lid stay on. This is Velasquez Art Crowns with Art Book for Coloring from the Standard Crown Manufacturing Company. Look at the graphics on this box. Look at that. It has a little bit, what looks like a little bit of water damage here to the top, but the box itself is in really good shape. I'll take the lid off here in a minute so you can see. But on the inside, it has some of the original crowns inside. It does not have the book, but it does have the crowns. And you can see the crowns do say standard crown manufacturing company. <laughs> Giving him the empty tin of cashews. Or you could put a spring snake in it and scare people that cashew tin. But here, you can see here's the box. There's a little bit of water damage, but the box is in great shape. There isn't any, even the seams are all still intact on the bottom of the box too. This is a rare piece, guys. It's a rare piece. I have it for $21.25. You haven't missed a whole lot, but you can, um, Joanne, you can go back and watch it and then still send me an email um, if there's anything that you want to see if it's still available. So the little crowns are $21.25. I love these. Love them. Oh, I didn't show these two things. These are two things I was really excited to see. Uh, with the white cabinet in the background, hold, display, hold or display quilts. I'm not, huh? Huh? That, um, I guess we probably will sell those now. Are there, are they permanently attached? No. Oh, okay. They're, they're small cabinets, Rosie. They're, um. She wants the yellow duck. I got the yellow duck. Oh, oh, who wants the yellow duck? Kelly Tate. Kelly Tate wants the yellow duck. They, they probably could if you folded them, Rosie. They would probably fit the quilts, but I don't know how much they are yet. We'll have to figure that out before we have a sale. They yeah, they, they haven't been for sale. Okay. I'm going to show you something that's really cool. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for the cool things? Because this is really cool. And, oh, I just, okay, I'm just going to show it. It's another stove. I sold one of these on Friday, and I have another one. This one is the Pretty Maid. Whoop. It's the Pretty Maid stove. Look at the graphics on this. Oh, it's so good. And it's, you know, it's an old porcelain. Is that, I don't know if it's porcelain or metal, but it feels, I think it's just metal. I don't think it's porcelain. I think it's got a, maybe a porcelain paint on it. It's so cute. And I'll show you underneath. I mean, it does have, you know, your normal wear and tear. But could you imagine giving a child this to play with? The little oven door does open, and I think it would look cute to display. You know, you could display something on the oven door itself. This cute little stove is $25.50. Stove. It's adorable. Could you? Oh, I, there's just so much possibilities for display. And it has, I don't know why, but I think that it used to have something here, like you could maybe hang something from it. But it has these little holes that you could probably hang it from the wall from that little hole. But it's a steady piece. You had a green one similar. Yeah, this one, I am not seeing any remnants of a cord. But it could have had, you know, some more components down here. But $25.50 for 
the Pretty Made Stove. I know, the sharp edges. Could you imagine? People would not give that to their kids today. And the companies wouldn't make it because they'd get sued. All right. Here is another thing that I'm going to show is this really cool lithograph apple bread box. This is a pretty good size. Um, it is made by, oh gosh, what is that? Decaware. Decaware. And now the, the lid has some rust on it and it's a little concave, but you can still display with it. It has the vent holes in the back. It's in really good condition on the inside. There's no, well, not really any rust on the inside. And it is $20. So $20 on the bread. Okay, Kathy Warman wants the bread box. Or, yeah, Cindy, sorry, Cindy. I have lots of Cindy's and Rebecca's. So they, I get my Cindy's, and I, Cindy knows this, I got my Cindy's confused. I think last weekend. Okay, gotcha, Cindy. All right, those are really two really cool pieces. Okay, let's show this little guy. This is an Eldon toy. It's a little roly-poly toy. Early plastic from the 1950s. He's got a little bit of wear on his bow and a little bit on his hat. But he's so cute. And he does still make a little bit of a jingling sound. Probably not as much as he used to. You can see he does have his company branding there. And he is $10. $10 for the Eldon Roly Poly. He's so cute. I love the color on him. Love him. You have an apple flower sifter. I had somebody that was looking for an apple flower sifter. The bread box is really cool. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Kim. All right. I have a baby quilt. I should have showed this with the other quilts. Um, I am not certain on this baby quilt but it's super cute it's just a little baby quilt it's blue and red and it's got stitching of the it was rebecca that was looking for the apple sifter it's got like a that's a sheep Are they all different animals i don't know if this i don't i I don't know if this is hand stitched or not. I want to say that I don't think that it is. The stitching is just too uniform. I, I think that this is machine stitched. But the back of it's really cute too. And this little baby quilt is $8. It would look really cute in a display. And you could fold it really this way too. Hi, water baby. Thank you. Um, I think it's a baby quilt. I don't think, I mean, you could use it as a wall hanging, but there aren't any, oh, wait, let's see. I didn't see this. It has this, let the little children come to me and not hinder them for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. From Luke 18, 16, pieced and quilted by Carol Owens in Tipton, Indiana. But I think Carol used her sewing machine because it looks like a sewing machine quilt. Okay, Roly Poly is Joanne's. And quilt. And the baby quilt. Okay. But Karen didn't get it. Hmm? Joanne Karen and the baby quilt. Said she wanted the quilt. Okay, Joanne got, she was the first to comment. She was right before you, Karen, on the baby quilt. I don't think I have any other ones. I'll have to see. I've got, we've, we've got so much stuff. We don't know. We're like the woman who lived in the shoe. All right. I have a couple little plushy guys I'm going to show. This is a little vintage bear pillow. This is just an iconic thing from the 70s. Don't you remember him? Someone's just made him. He's hand-stitched. Someone made him. Um, Roseanne was first for the quilt. Yeah, not for the baby quilt. Oh, did she? Well, let's oh, see. Yeah, quilt one. Yeah, okay. 
Rosanna. Rosanna, Rosanna. Yes, okay. All right, Joanne, Rose. Huh? I missed it. Mark missed it. Everybody say, bad, Mark. Bad. Mark missed it. So, Joanne, Rosanna actually got the baby quilt. And so, just letting you know, we can blame Mark. Okay, so this cute little bear, we're trying our best. <laughs> Sometimes the chat goes pretty fast. Stand in the corner, Mark, says Mary. No, actually, we need Mark. Mark, you stay right there. He's, he's going to stay right in here. All right, so this little bear pillow is $6. It would look cute in a, in a little rocking chair. $6 for the bear. Bad Mark. Any shaving mugs? Mm, no. I do have an uh, an old, old, old spice tin or uh, jar. You want to bring me that, Mark? Yes. Yeah, I, I might have some more. It's on the top. So this is, you know, you see old spice jugs and containers a lot. This one is an old one from the 1930s, 1940s. It's made by Hull Pottery. You can see the, on the bottom, it's Hull Pottery, H-U-L-L. -L. And this is the old one, guys, the Old Spice. Old Spice, talcum for men. It's like a crock. And it is 1950. There's a little, there's no chips or cracks. There's just a little bit of wear on the bottom. This is a cool old one. This is an old one. So the Old Spice Hall Pottery is 1950. Any lambs or sheep? No, and the other day, the, on Friday, people were asking me for pigs. And I, do, I did pull some pig things. Um, I don't think that that's lamb or sheep. I had some baby planters, but I don't think that there's any lambs or sheep. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead with 80 people watching. I'm going to go ahead and remind everybody that if you see something you want, you can comment, comment in the chat right now and just say, I want this. It's mine. And the first person to comment that will get the item. You can also send me an email. You actually have to send me an email so I can get all your contact information. So when the video goes up, send me an email. There's a doggy on top of the pink cubby shelf when you get a minute. Oh. This guy. He's chalkware. Were you talking about this one? He's got some issues. He's chalkware, so I mean, he's he's fragile. He's got a lot of paint wear. There's his face. And I, his little leg has been glued back on. He, um, okay, Sue wants the wood teapot holder. Gotcha, Sue. He, he's, he's, he's a rough little guy. Um, the only repair that I see is on his leg. You can even see the metal. You can see his bones. His bones are showing. But his tail, I don't know what kind of dog this is. A Mastiff, maybe? But he's chalkware, and he is $16. Okay. So we showed the doggy. Doggy, doggy, doggy. All right. Now, let's see. I'm going to show this guy. I think that this is cool. I actually have a couple of these. I'm going to show one now. This is a Mar Jr. dial typewriter. It's made by Marks Toys. But there's the, the Marks Toys. It is like a lithograph. Yeah, it's a little chalkware. That chalkware dog is a little, little rough. This is a little rough too. You can see here it's dented. It's dented in, but man, it's a cool piece. And it has the dial. I don't know how this works exactly. So like H, I guess you put your paper in, and then you dial whatever letters you want. It is $15 with a little lithograph, Mark's Toy Typewriter. 
All right, the pigs. All right, I'll do the pigs next. The pigs, the pigs, the pigs. Let me get myself situated here, put this stuff aside that I've shown already. Okay, I have a Lefton piggy bank. Look at his face and his eyelashes. I love things with eyelashes on it. So he is in excellent condition. I'll show you his mark on the bottom. He is left in. Now he is made in China. He's not made in Japan. So it's a newer, it's a more modern piece. He has a rubber cork. He's got pretty little flowers. He does not have a single flaw or she, I guess it's a she. She is $22 plus shipping with her little piggy tail. She's super cute. $22 plus shipping for the piggy bank. And these other little guys, I have a hobnail pig here. He is $6. It's a little bottle, but he's a piggy bank. But if you want to get your money out, you have to smash him. Because you, you, well, I mean, I guess if you wanted to sit all day, you could probably shake until all the change came out of it. But, um, a little hobnail pig, there's his tail, and he is $6. So, if you want the piggies, comment mine, me, mine, for the piggies. And then this one, this one's really neat. I love this one. What? Okay, adore my minky. You want the hobnail pig? Just clarify that you want the hobnail pig. I used a knife to get the money out. My dad, one of these, I had a piggy bank and my dad's friend sat and shook it till all the money came out. Okay, so the brown piggy, gotcha. This one's really cute. This little bank here, it's a textured glass. Look at his little face. You can see the seam here. And he is an anchor hawking. You can see the, kind of see the anchor hawking symbol right there. Little piggy bank too. He's also one that you got to smash to get the money out. And he is $12.50. The little glass piggy bank anchor hawking. He's so cute. He's so fat. All right. Any flamingos? No, Jackie, I don't have any flamingos. No flamingos. We live in Indiana, Jackie. So do you. We don't come by flamingos very often. Anything flamingo. First pig. Okay. Gotcha. Adore my minky. Make sure that you send me email. Poshypate at gmail.com. It is, will be in the description. So when the video is over, you can go back and watch that. Okay. I got some cutting boards. Okay, Kelly Strayer wants the anchor hawking pig. Gotcha, Kelly. Gotcha. Okay, these are cool. You guys know I love cutting boards. Um, this one is $10. It's made by Nevco. It's in great condition. And it just says, Sunday enjoying eating breakfast. Look at her. She kind of looks like olive oil from Popeye. She's sitting off by herself, but her food is steaming hot. So this cutting board is $10. It's in great shape. There's very minimal wear on it at all. Uh, it is $10. She is fancy. There is a little bit of wear here at the bottom, though. I will say that. So Nevco Sunday cutting board. Also, another cutting board. Boy, I have like a Tetris thing going on over here, which is dangerous. Hey, Michelle. All right, this one's also $10, and this one, it was made in Japan. I'll show you the back first. I'll show you the boring part first. And it's got roosters, or a rooster. I think that's a rooster. So this one, it's a little bit thinner, but it's in excellent shape. I don't know that this has ever, ever been used. And it does have the little hanger on it, and it is $10. For the rooster cutting board. Okay. So you can comment in the comments, me, mine. All right, Rebecca, which one? The rooster? Rebecca's a rooster girl, right? You want the rooster, Rebecca? Rebecca's, I think Rebecca's bought some rooster things from me before. 
So just clarify, okay, gotcha, Rebecca. Rebecca got the rooster cutting board. All right. And, whoop, I'll show this. I think this is cool. I actually bought this for myself and it was in my house for a while. And, you know, as with a lot of other things, I have to get rid of some things. I'm trying to, why isn't this going back? Okay, that's why. All right, it is a vintage Fisher Price cash register. It's wood. This is wood. This is the old one. Now, the little part right here is cracked, but it does still work. No sale. And then you, guys, this is going to be a familiar sound. You remember that sound? And then you keep doing this until all those parts go back down again. And this guy is, I want to see if he had his date on it, but he was made in the USA. Fisher Price. And this cash register is $15. Look good on a display or on top of a cabinet. I love the colors in it. Because I, I bought it for myself. That's why I like it. So the vintage Fisher Price cash register is $15. You can comment me, mine, in the chat if it's something that you want. All right. I'm also going to show... I have two toffee tins, these sweet little toffee tins. This one has a piece of tape on it that says white. I don't know if someone maybe at one time kept buttons in it. Um, it's made in England by Edward Sharp and Sons. And it's got, there's a little Dutch girl here, some flowers. I think these are, yeah, this one's $5. I'll show you the inside of it. Clean on the inside. Really pretty graphic. <laughs> you are shaking your head yes instead of typing it. I know. Sounds like something that I would do. So we've got that little one. And then this one with the dog on it. I guess that says, I don't know. Is this black, but maybe black buttons were kept in this one. But this was also made in England by Edward Sharp and Sons with the dog on it. Same pattern. It's also clean on the inside, and it's also $5 for the tins. All right. I'm having a hard time getting this one. This one's good back on. All right. There's the tins. I also have these aluminum candle holders. They are aluminum and they are ten dollars for the pair so you hang in the gut little hanging holes there on the back and you can put long taper candles they've been really pretty with battery operated candles in them too like on each side of a picture they're very lightweight very lightweight aluminum any pyrex jimco or corel sugar shakers no no don't have any of those left. Yeah, if there's something that you're that you're looking for, make sure that you either send me a message or put it in the chat and I'll, you know, I'll try to find this if we have those things and show it in an upcoming video. All right, the next thing is I think this is made in Czechoslovakia. It's really pretty this cute little flower pot. It's a footed flower pot. There's no no damage on it at all. No little flea bites, no, no chips or cracks on it, and it is $6. I'll try to get the bottom to show you. It's a little, very, very pretty little flower pot. It would be cute with succulents in it. $6 for that. And what else do I want to show? How about some kitchen gadgets? Got a couple of kitchen gadgets here. I have a an egg beater. This one is made by oh gosh, A and P egg beater with a red handle. This is a wooden handle. Yeah, that's a wooden handle. Now the beaters themselves are pretty beat, <laughs> literally. 
they're pretty rusty. I wouldn't use this. This is more of put it in a crock um, piece. I do have some radios. I will, uh, that's one thing I'll gather uh, for my Friday's video. I do have a couple really cool radios. So the egg beater, sorry, are $6. Red mill figurines, no. Clocks, yes, I have a couple really cool clocks. I don't have like any like Kit Kat clocks, um, but I do have a ship and a stagecoach, very mid-century. So I'll pull those for the next yellow blue cat first shelf behind you. Yellow blue cat. Hmm. I'm looking, not seeing it. Are you, I got Woody Woodpecker. Is this the, <laughs> I got Woody Woodpecker for $5. It's, it's a Woody Woodpecker pillow. He, oh, I thought he was stained. I think that's his tail. Those are his tail feathers. Where? The tall one right by the This one? This one? Yeah. No, this is Huckleberry. I know, but it kind of looks like a cat from... Yeah. This is Huckleberry pie? No. Gosh, I should know this. This was my childhood. He's $10. He's very clean. He has no, no issues with him at all. He is $10. Vintage fabric from the 80s. Great shape. Lots of stuffing. Cat pen cushions, no. $10. All right. I have, what time is it? Keep an eye on my time. Got a little bit more time left. I know. Sorry. Cat pen cushions. Sounds very. Wait, which one do you want, Joanne? Do you want the Huckleberry Pie pillow or the Woody Woodpecker pillow? Clarify Joanne and I'll grab it for you. Okay, the next thing is a really cool Log Cabin brand Sweet Pickles jar with the paper. Okay, gotcha, Joanne. Huckleberry with the paper label. There is just one little spot right there where the label is missing. Does not have the lid. Really cool shaped bottle. Very art deco looking. And it's from Louisville, Kentucky is where this, um, this was made. The Louisville Pickle Company. And it is $9.99. No wieners! No wieners! I, I, I look, I look all the time. Any Holland mold items? No. I think I have a, some Atlantic mold things in my eBay store, though. So the pickle jar is $9.99. And you can comment me, mine, once. I have another pickle jar. A uh, bigger one. Taller one. You can see. But the bottles are somewhat similar. They have those nice lines on them. This one is has a lid. It has the zinc lid on it. And this one is CW Sweet Pickles, made in Cleveland, Ohio. Paper label. And this one is $10. So Sweet Pickles. They're both Sweet Pickles. Sweet Pickle jars. Big one's $10 and the small one's $9.99. Oh, uh, CW. Oh, that's right, Cindy. All right. So Cindy wants the... It is a really neat bottle. Just, I mean, you could put um, Christmas, little Christmas ornaments in it or Christmas bulbs in it. That would be cool at Christmas. Scrabble letters. I use Scrabble letters a lot, but I got you for that, Cindy. Okay. Next thing is... I'm going to show... I put another really cool bottle, and I'm going to show it. This one's really neat. This one is Figo Figaro. Pre Pre I'm not going to say this right. Preserverar. <laughs> That's not the way it is. I'll show you what it is in a minute. Um, this is a bottle. 
an old bottle with the paper label. I'll try to get a close up of the graphic on there. It does have a little bit of, of a tear right there. This is from the Figar Figaro Chemical Company uh, in Dallas, Texas. I'm trying to see. There was a five, $5,000, $500, no, $500 reward for any person infringing on this company, you can get them in trouble. I'll show you that on the back. I can't really read it. It's going to take me too much time to read it, but there's a $500 reward. Like Vero on eBay, but, you know, Figaro would take it to jail. So a really cool bottle. It is $25. These cool paper labels are, bottles are um, getting harder to find. It is embossed on the bottom of Figaro, Dallas, Texas. Cast iron cake molds. No. Uh, send me your silver, silver Christmas tree. I sold one of them. I have. We've got one left, and I probably will. Um, I, I want to say I've got a picture of it at least, uh, and I will, you know, offer it up to someone to cookie molds, no cookie molds. <laughs> You'll make a movie of the wiener dogs? I don't know. Oh, the tree. <laughs> okay. All right. I also have a whisk, an Akron Whip Company. And I wrote wish on here. It's a whisk, not a wish. I did that all the time. Mark would find all kinds of things that I spelt wrong. You know, I had my thought and then the thought left me and I didn't finish my K and left it an H. It's $12. Now it is rusty. I don't think I would cook any food with it, but you can see here it is, has an aluminum um, handle. Any mid-century modern pieces? Yes, I do have some. I will pull some of those out. Um, in my video Friday, um, I did, uh, and it's in in my videos, I did show some mid-century modern vases, and I still have a couple of those left. Um, so I do have those. All right, a couple more things. I do have one thing cast iron, and I will show it. It is this Griswold cast iron ashtray. It's a number seven, I believe. So let's say seven on there. Oh, I can't tell, but here's the bottom. It's Griswold. It's an ashtray and it is 1850 for the Griswold ashtray. I am going to, we are, um, I'm going to open probably the last Saturday of February. We are going to open the shop um, for a day and, you know, try to move some more stuff. Yeah, well, I know you want to cast iron, so that's why I had it over here, and so I showed it to you. All right, I'm going to show one more thing. One more thing, and I'm going to show this because I think this is really cool. We've had this for a while and it hasn't sold. And I don't know why, because I think it's really cool. It is this wooden box and it says clippings. So like scrapbook clip clippings or photo clippings, but you just, it's like a memory book. So you keep your clippings in here. I think it's so pretty. This is an inlay. It's just, it's like a piece of really thin veneer that was added on. Griswold, think of the Christmas vacation. I, I always do. Whenever I see Griswold, I always think of Clark Griswold. The back of it, it has a few little scratches on it. Not real deep scratches, but I would say it's more wear. And in the corner, it does too. It's a little bit bumpy there in the corner. This cool box is $10.50. I just think that it's unusual and really, really, really cool how it's hinged together. It's all hinged together with wood and dowels. I like it. Okay, so that's all I'm going to show today. If you caught the video late, you can go back and watch it. Um, black and white cat clock. No, I did. I sold them. We had a black one and a really cool purple one, but we did sell those. Um, 
So I'm going to um, remind everybody, if you have commented that you want something, make sure that you send me an email at poshypate at gmail.com. I know I, with some of you, I have all your contact information. So just send me, if you've bought something from me before, then just send me your list of things that you were wanting. And um, we have it written down who claimed mine first, and then I will check the emails as well. And I will be getting invoices ready and, and things ready to be shipped out tomorrow. If you're local, I'll keep it here and you can email me and we'll set up a time. I will be here Friday at noon, but we'll, we'll set up a time for you to come and pick it up. Yep, they are called Kit Kat Clocks. These are cool. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will be going live every Friday. I will have more sales like this. We've got to move this stuff. We've got to get rid of it. Um, and um, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm working on the book sale. The book sale video will be coming out next uh, week. So I am working on that. All right, right, right. Road trip, the end of February. You guys can all come. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you guys later.